G'day, this is Michael from Coin Collecting and Detecting. Got a few rolls here to be searching through. Been a couple of days since I've been on a live stream, so looking forward to having a bit of a look back through, or oh, look through these ones here. Hopefully you've been having a great day. Things are going well. All right, let's get the Damascus Steel already to open up some of these coin rolls. And um, got the pointer ready, check. Ooh, a little bit broken. That's all right. It'll still do the job. Okay, let's start with a 10 cent roll. We'll go with the 10 cent coins. See if we can find any 85s, 2011s. Actually, I've got a roll over here. I just got some rolls from the bank the other day. And this roll of 10 cent coins has a 2011 on the end of the roll, which is awesome. So that's a good low mintage date. Only 1.7 million of those coins minted. And some prices on a 2011. Um... Three dollars fifty to forty-five dollars. Yeah, so that's cool. So I'll open that roll at a different different time because that'll be an individual roll opening. But we'll check this roll, see if we've got anything right here. Yep. A few things to look for on the tens. Oh, I can't get that paper off the end bit there. There we go. Pushed it out. G'day, Abby. How's it going? Good, thanks. Good. Um, hopefully you've had a good day too. Coming close to the end of the, the semester, is it? So, yeah, got a bit of time off, which is cool. Cool. Just about school holidays over here as well. So, um, good times. UK coin collector. G'day, how's it going? Good stuff, Abby. Good. Oh, I can hear those birds outside. Pretty chatty this morning. I love your videos. I collect coins myself, so I find watching these really fun. Ah, oh, awesome, cool. Actually, got a call about some cool banknotes um, just yesterday that I'll go and pick up at some stage. So I'm looking forward to those. Actually, I was thinking, I just did a, a road trip early last week. Um, so I spent a bit of time on the road searching for coins and banknotes, certain particular things, uh, some of the older things. And I got back and yeah, got a call yesterday saying, oh, I've got some uh, some cool stuff here. So I'm probably going to head back out to another little trip next week to pick up some cool $100 banknotes. Love collecting coins. Nice one, Alfie. Yeah, collecting's cool. Okay, the 10 cent coins, getting a bit closer to the end. I'm also looking on these tens, I'd like to find another error where you can get errors on these feathers up here, get blobs of metal, so I'm keeping an eye out for that. Um, how's Australia? Australia's going good. Good, thanks. G'day Eve, how's it going? Yeah, it's been a few days since I've been on a live, so it's good to be back. 1966, let's check this for a rotation. Not really. Good, thanks. How have you been? Good, thanks. Good. Yeah, cruising along. Been pretty busy this last week or so. That's why I haven't been on too many streams. So um, we'll do a guess the year. Guess the year right here. Ah, thanks, Eve. Yeah, back now. Um, what have you been looking for in the coin? What are you? What are you looking for in the coin? Oh, there's lots of different dates on the coins and things like that that are lower mintage or rare coins, and they're worth more to coin collectors. So... Um, the value is a bit higher, but also I'm a collector myself, so I like to hold on to particular things. So just looking for a range of different things. Um, guess the year on this coin here, and that's this is a game where we have a look at this coin and go, okay, have a guess what year you think this coin was made. And then in about 10 seconds, we'll flip it around and we'll find out what year it was made, see who was the closest. So I'm going to guess... Um, 2010. I'm going to go 2010. So five, four, three, two, one, go. Ooh, 2003. Let's see if I think a few people are around about that sort of. So 2004, Sony, Zeph, 2001, 2006, 2002, uh, UK coin collector. Yeah, so a few people close there. Oh, your wheel coins came today, did they, Abby? Oh, awesome. Yeah, that'd be exciting to search through those. Abby's, um, yeah, picked up some, 
coins from all over the world, about 1.5 kilos of foreign coins from all over the place. And um, they arrived, sounds like it. So that'd be a good search. I love searching through coins from all over the world. That's cool. I got it. Yeah, nice one, Eve. You got it, did you? Awesome. Hey, buddy. How are you going? Well, thanks, John. Evening from the UK. G'day, Paul. Yeah, going well, going well. Morning here in Australia. I have a bit of a late night, so I sort of didn't wake up too early, so I haven't been up for too long. But uh, jumping on this stream right now. Found an Australian two cent, 1966. Didn't even know they existed. That's awesome, maybe. Yeah, and those have got a little SD, and sometimes that SD can be missing. I'll see if I've got some um, on my desk here. 1967, 1967. Oh, so I'll just grab this one here. So this is a two cent coin, Australian two cent coin that Abby's talking about. She's got a 1966. And what happens is all of these coins down the bottom here, a bit reflective, isn't it? Between these two feet down the bottom here, there's usually an SD in that little gap. And it stands for Stuart Devlin, the designer of the coin. And sometimes it's missing on the 1966s, 1967s, and 1968s. So keep an eye out for that. Maybe check that out, um, Abby. So between these two claws, this one here and that one over there, if it's nothing on the coin like this one, they're worth a bit more. So 66 is probably worth about $18 Australian if you can find a missing SD. But um, it's worth looking for. Ah, oh, it's got the SD, has it? Yeah, cool. Yeah, that's... Um, they made a lot of 1966... Um, two cent coins. I think it's 429 million. So fair few were produced. That's a 79, isn't it? We'll check for the double bar. Mm, not really buying a double bar on that one. I found a shilling. Are they worthy? Um, shilling is a few dollars. Yeah. Yep. A bit of silver in shillings, I think. There's so many different currencies here, though. Oh my God. Yeah, that's cool. Take your time and check them all out. Check for a bit of doubling down the back of the kangaroo on this coin. Is it morning for you? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's um, 9, 10 a.m. where I am in Ocean Grove, Victoria, Australia, on the coast. Might be interesting to find out where people are tuning in from around the world. So if you, if you want to, you can share in the comments your town or your country or wherever you're from it's always interesting to find out where people are tuning in from people from all over the place i'm in dubai awesome cool do you have a gus mr wiggle um i do i think i've got one on my desk here wales uk uk chicago england highlands of scotland awesome norway london adelaide townsville ballarat oh the rat i was in ballarat the other day uh victoria Kangaroo Island. Oh, cool. Hello. G'day, Saf. How's it going? Norway. A few people from also. A few people from Norway. Missouri. Scottish Borders. Victoria. Bairnsdale. Lara. Oh, that's just around the corner, Lara. I'm pretty close to that. Gus. See, this is... Oh, this is Bill. Yeah, I've got Bill right here. I don't know if I've got Gus close by, but this is just one I had on my desk. Yeah. Sydney. Quebec. In Canada. Nice. Brisbane. Aussie. Hobart, Tasmania, nice. I'd like to get back to Tassie. Abby found a Victoria coin from 1841. Could be worth up to 580 pounds. It's in great condition too. That's awesome, Abby. Oh, that's so cool. Is the 2021 $1 RAAF coin, 1921 to 2021 coin with the C mint mark rare? I found it in circulation. Um, it would be because that'd be a collector coin. It's not a coin for produced for circulation. So they wouldn't have made many of them. I don't know the values on them off the top of my head, but um, if you jumped on eBay and searched that particular coin up, you would find some recent selling prices on it. Um, yeah, so I don't know exactly how much, but it'd be worth more than $1 for sure. Queensland, Hilton Head, Denmark. I have a Canadian penny from 1919. Cool. What countries have you been to? I haven't been to too many countries, to tell you the truth. I've been to Tahiti, um, and I've been to New Zealand. They're the only two countries outside of Australia that I've been to. Yeah. Looks like a 50p. All right, we'll do a 20 cent coin roll here. Druin. It's in um, 
east of Victoria, isn't it? Read over the east there. I mean, this means I have to buy a new corn album here. Yeah. I don't have to buy an album. You can just sort of keep them. One thing when I was young, my parents had this little treasure chest. So it's got this little um, chest. It was like a solid wooden thing. And it just, they had, it was full of foreign coins, coins from all over the world. And I used to like going through that every now and then, sort of open it up and search through all the different coins. What's the 2000 year of the dragon lunar coin worth? I have a number 179 out of a thousand. <clears throat> Not too sure, Alex, but you could probably jump on eBay and search that up. This one's pretty dirty. I'll let it go. And you could filter your search to sold items to see what they've recently been selling for. But um, yeah, sounds like a collector coin. How's the hunt going so far? Hope all is well. Could we do a guess the year, please? Oliver, yes, because of some good manners. I'll um, just check this one for a wave gap. The 2008s look for a bit of a gap in this point of wave down here. Let's do a guess the year on this one. Do you have the values of a for the great condition Commonwealth of Australia penny? 1917. Oh, no, I don't know, unfortunately. Yeah, same thing. Probably just um, on eBay and search that up. But if they're in really good condition, the values can go up a fair, fairly quickly. So up in price. But um, yeah, it really depends on the condition. So a few people guessing in the comments what year they think this coin will be. Just trying to look at the condition of it to sort of get a bit of a gauge. It doesn't look that old to me. So I'm thinking probably in the 2000s. I'm going to go 2007. 2007. And that's where I'm going through. Okay, so. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Ooh, 2013. Okay, so a few years off. Let's see. Oh, 2014, Muhammad, you were pretty close there. One year off there. I'll check back through everyone else's. Um, 2015, Nugget, 971. That wasn't too far off it either. Yeah, okay. So some good guesses, guys. Good guesses, 2013. Got work tomorrow. Okay, yep. Sort of life, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Nice. United Nations 20 cent coin, 1995. It's been a while since I found one of these. That's in pretty good condition too. I'll just take this in because that looks nice. United Nations 1995. I'll check the prices on them. Um, $2 to $17 is a recent selling price range on this coin. 4.8 million were produced. That's in pretty good nick too. So I like that. Definitely going to be holding on to that one. Abby, I'm seeing my boyfriend the day after though. Yay, that's awesome. Good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. I have that coin. Nice one, Sigma. Yeah, it's a good coin to have. What do you do with the coins that aren't rare and different? All the coins I drop into the bag, I take back to the bank and I put them through the coin deposit machine at the bank I go to and it puts the coin, the money straight back into my bank account. So, yep. And then I just get some more coins out when I'm there. Hey, there we go. It's back. We've got the Zoom again. So I'll wait for a few more people to come back online and then we'll keep on going with these coins. So apologies for the delay. I um, yep, turned the phone off and it took a little while for it to load back up again. Had a little play around with it and um, here we go. So, oh, here we go. 1966. It's not the wavy baseline that we want. First back, nice one, guy. But we'll check for rotation. Some of these can be rotated, so not rotated, unfortunately. 2001s can be rotated. Let's go for this. Come on. No. Hey, how's it going, Abby? Um, we'll do a five cent roll and then we'll get into the twos and the ones. Usually a bit of a favorite, the twos and the ones. Queen Elizabeth. <coughs> Cough. Nugget. Ah, oh, thanks for the roses, Nugget. Ah, uh, oh, thanks for the likes as well. Tapping the screen. Good stuff, good stuff. Good, it fixed itself. Yes, it did. Yeah, turn the phone off and back on. And then, look at this. I can zoom in and out. Probably shouldn't mess around with it too much. It might go, hey. If you give the boss a me, and then it might stop again. But, um... 
Okay. Pretty dirty that 1994. Sometimes I check them for the large SD, but pretty poor condition that one. Oh, this one here. Checking for the Flamingo error. So we're looking for a little bit of extra metal off the bottom of the five through here. That looks like a Flamingo's beak. Can we do the can we please do the $2 last? Yeah, we'll do that, Abby. Hey Michael, big fan from Ireland and love your content. So satisfying. Awesome, Harry. Appreciate you being here. I seem to have more people who watch my stuff from overseas than I do in Australia. Well, that's probably not the true. It's probably just that when I usually go live, it's when I'm in the morning when Australians are probably busy doing other things. But um, yeah, it's cool. Found any 2023 coins yet, Charlie? No, I haven't. Hey, Charlie, I think in the, you know, we were talking the other day on the, the phone and you were saying my link wasn't working. Could you maybe jump in and see if my link's working now? Or maybe even anyone who's on the stream. Through my profile, if you click on my profile picture and just below the Australian flag, there's a link that goes to my link tree. It wasn't working for lots of people the other day, but it was working for some people. Um, so I I um, yeah, reached out to Linktree and just sort of mentioned that that's happened. And they said, oh, can you let us know some more information? So be interesting to know. I think, Charlie, you said it wasn't working for you. So, um, yeah, just um, might be interesting a bit more feedback that I can give them if it's working or not. So the link through my profile that goes to my Linktree... Just would like to know if it's working for some or if it's not working for others. Yeah, not working still, says Charlie. Okay, but it's working for Abby. Working for Alan. Cool, thank you for checking. Wonder why. Not working for Liam. Yeah. Wonder what it is. And that's what I'm hoping to try and see if Linktree can help me out with that. Working for Billy. Working for me, Ashley. Not working for Muhammad. It's not working for me, Zef. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? It seems like, you know, close to half of the people who check it, it's working for, and half that check it is not working. Good morning, Michael. G'day, Taylani. Not working, not working, working, working for me. That's weird, isn't it? Come on, Linktree, what's going on? Get that link working. Um... Yeah, anyway, we'll do this $1 roll. Thanks for letting me know, guys. Thanks for checking that out just to see. Help me out with that so I can give a bit of a report back just to say, yep, yeah, it's working for maybe half the people. Those working, are they on iPhone or Android? Yeah, I did ask that the other day in the comments, and it seemed to be a mix. It didn't seem to matter if it was Android or iPhone. It just was just random that some people it's working for and others it's not. G'day, Michael. G'day. I'm on an iPhone, and it's working. Cool. Okay, how are how are you? Hello, good day. Working Android, nice. Yeah. All right, let's get into these one dollar coins. Let's have a search through these. See if we can find any blobs of metal. Could we do a guess the year, please? Yes, we can. Nice bonus. I have an iPhone. It's working for you. Cool, Alan. It takes a second to load, but it works. I'm on an iPhone. Yeah. Okay, so it takes a little while for it to load up. All right, we'll do a guess the year in a moment. I'll just find a coin that we can't see the date on. That sort of looks like we might be able to sort of pick it. Ooh, this one. We'll go with this one. Gone with this one. It's pretty shiny. So when it's usually shiny, it might mean that it's fairly recent. But you can have a guess of the year of this coin. Just have a bit of a look around the coin to see if there's any areas. You can get blobs of metal on this side of the kangaroo... Across the back of the top kangaroo, across the back of the second kangaroo. You can get doubling on the foot down here. Get a bit of extra um, metal on the tail over here too. So there's sort of areas you can look at for extra metal. But let's guess the year of this. I'm going to guess 2019 because of the shine on the coin. It sort of feels like it's a fairly recent coin. Five, four, three, two, one, go. 2016 okay they did make a fair few in 2016 but it's had a fair bit of shine to it so how many coins in 2016 were made 
30.2 million. Did anyone guess that? Let's have a look through the comments. Ooh, 2017 or high, that was close. Um, probably the closest there. 2017 again for KJ Hunter. Oh, Tyler, Tyler Tarr. You got it, 2016, well done. Oh, there's someone else that got it too, there, sorry, yep. I oh, didn't scroll up front. Jesse, well done, Jesse, good stuff. All right, nice one, good guessing. Shame it's not a changeover. Yeah, changeover, $1 coin would be very nice. One of my favorites to find, very hard to find. The women's suffrage coins, so about 10 million mintage on these. Let's have a look at the figures. Um, oh, what year is it? I thought it was a 2011, no, 2003. Uh, women's suffrage, $2 to $8, 10 million, yeah, 10 million of those coins were minted. Cool. Two thousand and eleven, two coins to go. Two thousand seventeen, two thousand and eight. Okay, Jarrah, how's it going? <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Here we go. A two dollar roll. Actually, before I before I do that two dollar roll, <clears throat> I got some coin rolls from the bank the other day, and I got a few cool enders. So check out this one here. I've got a. This is an Olympic Games 2016 coloured $2 coin. So that's got the yellow colour. So there's coins that have got all the different coloured rings on them, which is really cool. And I've got a Women's T20 World Cup coloured $2 coin on the end of that roll. So that's pretty cool. Looking forward to searching through those on a coin roll search. Um, what else did I find as enders? I found... This is a $1 coin roll here. It's got a D for Dingo, great Aussie coin hunt coin on the end of it. So that's cool. I'll do that as in a special video. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, we've got a Anzac coin roll ender. So it's got Anzac coins on the end of each side of the roll, which is pretty cool. So on these, you look for the any year that's not 2014. So um, I'll open that as a roll at another time. What have I got here? I've got a $2 coin just seems in pretty bright, shiny condition. I think it's a 1988. Oh, the famous HH. So, um, yeah, a few rolls that I've put over there that I'll do individual videos on. However, let's get into this roll. How many HH coins do you think will be in this coin roll? Um, have a guess. I think I'm going three. I'm going to guess three today. You can have a guess in the comments. Um, all the, the HH coins are all of the 1988 and 1989. So... They made over 191 million of them, so there's a fair few of them around. Some people make out as though that they're rare and try and scam pre people with prices on the internet, but just sort of trying to point out that they're not actually rare, they're pretty common. You can find them fairly easily. And here's the first one right here, that's a 1989 coin, so that means this is a HH. So down here, we got the HH. Horst Hahn, the designer of this side of the coin. Oh, I should put it aside so I can remember. Was that it there? Yep, I'll put the HHs aside so we can remember how many we've found. There's another one, HH2. See if we can snag it a color while we're searching through this roll. Another one, three HHs, four HHs, gone past where I was at. I was at three personally, but it uh, doesn't surprise me. Hi, Michael, how are you going to do this when they get rid of cash? I won't be able to do this when they get rid of cash, but I'll still have my coins. I'll be able to search through, have a look at my coins that I've got because I'll collect them. Last coin right here, 2009. No, no colored coins. However, we do have four of the HHs. One, two, three, 
four. So if he gets four, congratulations. There was a fair few people who guessed four. So well done. Good stuff. Um, yeah, I did say that in the comments. A, the guy that says coin is really satisfying way. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Nice one, Heavy. Yeah, guessed a good one, Georgia. Hey, Elliot. How's it going? Got it as well, Jarrett. Nice one. So a couple of things I put aside after this search. The United Nations 20 cent coin from 1995 and a women's suffrage coin, a $1 coin from 2003. This is my final of the search. So that's in good condition. I don't if that's the, I don't really know, but that could be a HH right there. Maybe it was Horst Hahn who designed this coin as well. Can't really make it out that well. Let's see if it's a bit like the Horst Hahn. Yeah, it looks like a HH. I'll grab a $2 coin, um, see if we can find a HH, see if it's the same sort of HH. I reckon it is. There you go, Horst Hahn at it again, doing designs on coins from all over the joint. Good stuff. United Nations. Some prices on these United Nations coins, just to give you a bit of an idea. Um, $2 to $17 is a recent selling price range on those, so that is pretty cool. All right, what else? Is there anything else? If you've got any questions or any comments, I'll check out a few comments because I've pretty much done that search there now. Can't wait to show you some of the new coins I've got today. Awesome, Abby. I'm looking forward to checking those out. Yeah, cool. Uh, what was the mintage on these? The mintage on these 1995 20-cent coins, 4.8 million. So just under 5 million mintage, which puts it in the rare sort of range. Can you please do another bank off? Yeah, at some stage, Charlie, I'll do a bank off, but um, I don't know when, because I tend to go to the same bank at the moment. But yeah, I could probably get some coins from different banks. Best coin you've got? Oh, I don't know. Look, I like so many different coins for different reasons. So I don't really have a super favorite, although I do keep on coming back to this one, don't I, guys, if those people who know me. My 1797 two pence coin. George on the back there. Um... Yeah, cool coin, a few hundred years old, two pence coin. One of the first types of coins used in Australia. Quite a large coin. Like if you compare it to an Australian $2 coin. Pretty thick, chunky number right there. Do you have a most expensive coin like the most valuable? Um, I don't haven't really valued all the coins in my collection, so I don't really know what's my most expensive coin does australia plan i have to pull that comment back down it sort of went away does australia plan on going cash free i've got no idea ashley maybe at some stage but i've got no idea it's a cartwheel penny yes cartwheel penny awesome coin michael yeah pretty happy with that one it's one of my favorites actually i found this one the other day which was pretty cool this is a new zealand 50 cent coin and they don't use this sort of coin anymore in new zealand this size anyway so um, I was pretty pumped to find that one. It's got a bit of a reading on the side here. I did see, I saw a video, I think it was just like an antiques channel. They were talking about the reading on coins on the side here. And I was saying the reason that they brought that in is because back in the old days, they used to clip clip parts of coins off and sort of to as small payments to people. Like they'd have silver coins and they would, they would chip a bit off the edge and use that as a part payment. And just so that people knew if a coin was whole or not, they they introduced the reading on the edge of the coin so that people knew that, okay, that hasn't been clipped. <laughs> um, but that was the reason for it. But I did notice the reason I've talked about this is because this coin has got like that broken up sort of reading there, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's all good and dandy. So, um... There we go. All right, well, I might sort of leave it there. So thanks everyone for jumping on my live stream and I hope you all have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. And um, good luck with your searches and any coin purchases that you have done recently. So Abby, you've got some cool coins to search through. Looking forward to seeing some of those. Abby bought some coins from all over the world. It's a, a world coin haul of one, one and a half kilos and she's searching through, which is cool. Enjoy that and let me know. Cool. All right. Have a good one, everyone. We'll see you later. Bye.